Hello everyone, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an Ace Magic laptop, model number AX15. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip the computer over to access our bottom case screws. So you have four screws along the bottom, two screws in the middle, four more screws on top, now keep in mind, on one of these screws in the corner, there was a sticker on it uh, to tell them if you've gained entry to the computer or not. So just keep that in mind. If you see any stickers like that on various screws inside the computer, it could void part or all of your warranty. So just keep that in mind. So now I'm gonna go ahead and remove all these screws. Another thing to mention is not all screws are the same size. As you can see here, most of these screws were the small screw there, but those two hinge corner ones were the long screws. So keep that in mind when you're going into a computer, keep your screws separate, make sure you know where they go. So after removing all these screws, I'm gonna take my small flat metal pry tool. I'm gonna to go across the seam of the bottom case and carefully take it up from the rest of the computer. Oop, that comes up very easily actually. And as you can see, there's nothing on the, on the bottom. It's, it's just a bottom panel. But that came up very, very easily. It, it doesn't seem like there's any clips or anything holding it down other than those screws. After you're inside, this is what you're looking at for the inside of the computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging anything in your computer when you're working on it. If you would like any help with tools or supplies for your computer project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll be a list of tools and supplies that I use in my shop. Also, in the description under that link, I will have another link. It'll be a list to all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model computer if you're looking to replace them or upgrade them. So here's your battery right down here. Uh, there's a piece of black tape going across here, so I'm going to take that up. Most likely that's where the battery is, is plugged in somewhere in there. So I'm going to take that up very carefully because I don't want to rip out anything that it's connected to. So nice and slow. See, it's on some wires there, so I'm gonna hold those wires down while I slowly remove that piece of tape. I don't want it pulling anything up. And then I'm gonna put this tape back down exactly where I found it when I'm done working on my computer. So it looks like the battery is held down by one, two, three, four screws. Maybe there's one in here. Let me take off this piece of tape as well. Yep, so there's one more screw there. Okay, so I'll put that carefully to the side. I'm gonna put that tape back after I'm done. And then after those five screws, it plugs into the motherboard right there. Looks like it came out a little. Uh, maybe it's a little loose, or maybe I made it a little loose by taking that tape out. So I'm gonna take a small, flat, plastic pry tool, and I'm gonna push it from each side of that clip that plug until it comes out of that port. It's a little tight in there, but there. So that's how I unplug my battery. We want to avoid pulling on wires anywhere in a computer, if at all possible, just manipulate the plug. But when you pull on wires, sometimes you can pull the wire right out of that plug. And if you want to remove the battery, I'll go ahead and take out these five screws here. Now the battery should just come right up, and there it is. If you would like the battery specs for this battery in case you're looking for your own replacement, I will have them below in the description. Uh, I will also try to include a battery replacement option below in that link I told you about with all the replacement and upgrade parts for this model computer. I guess the last thing to shout out about this type of operation, if you are here because your computer is not turning on, it could be a bad battery, but it could be something else. Most laptop computers should still turn on and function well if the battery's dead, if your charger's plugged in. So if your computer is not turning on, there may be something else wrong with it other than just a bad battery. In that case, I will have a video link above 
Also below in the description, it'll be a tutorial video on how to troubleshoot and find the cause why a laptop may not be turning on. But that's the video, how to access your battery in an AX15. Please remember to like and share if this was helpful, if you think it can help someone else. And feel free to subscribe if you enjoy DIY tutorials like this, or if you just wanna keep me on hand to answer any future computer questions you may have. I do try to answer all questions across my channel at least a couple times a day. So thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.